Hello and welcome to the Sydney United Sports Centre here in Adenza Park and we have an absolute blockbuster clash on this Sunday afternoon. It's between two sides that simply put do not like each other. It's one of the most anticipated games of the season so far. Sydney United 58 hosting their bitter rivals Rockdale Elinden FC. Thank you for joining us on the Football New South Wales YouTube page. Hope you're in store for 90 minutes of action. These two sides, every time they meet, there's always fireworks. And one thing we can promise you is goals, and plenty of them. Kickoff moments away here in Adenza Park. Crowd still flooding through. Should be a bit of a bumper crowd underneath the Boca Grandstand here at Sydney United Sports Centre. Sydney United get things underway. And it's Adrian Vlastelitsa. His first touch of the game, a mistake there, goes straight to the Rockdale skipper, the league's top goal scorer, Alec Gudashevsky. An early chance for Rockdale. Good ball out wide, and it's a decent stop there from Hatch in the end. And Milosevic clears it. Hopefully get a chance to get to the starting lineups very shortly. Rockdale not messing around. Getting straight to it. Well, let's get to the hosts to start with in goals. Number one, Oliver Kalic. Joined with a back line of Bailey Rule, Liam McGinn, Adrian Vastelicha, and Liam Hatch. Midfield trio of Anthony Tomalich, Tarek Meyer, and Carlos de Oliveira. As the number nine, Patrick Antelmi is joined by Aidan Milosevic. And last month's midfielder of the month for this competition, Shunta Nakamura. And the bench of young, young, very young bench for coach Zelko Kalach. Starting with number seven, Jordan Ivasic, number 13, Alessandra Lakalandra, number 21, Dayan Barker Danikovsky, number 22, Stefan de Robillard, number six, Adam Service, and the backup goalkeeper, number 17, Matthew Nikolovsky. Liam Hatchi taking the throw for Sydney United. Pretty fast paced start from both sides. Obviously, Sun not out. That probably won't play a factor when it comes to fatigue, but. Kamura trying to play Milosevic through. And in the end, there was Isaac Danza that was taken down by Milosevic. Good chance early there for Sydney United. Just coughed up at the final moments. And Danzo taking his time to get back to his feet. Very tiny shoelaces. I'll tell you what, as someone who suffers from bad shoelace tying, I can uh, feel Isaac Danzo's pain there. Anyway, let's get to the starting lineup for the visitors in goals. And just past the board, number one, Harrison Devonish Mears. Joined by number three, Lockie Griffiths. Number five, Giorgio Speranza. Number six, Isaac Danzo. Number seven, the captain, Alec Gudashevsky. Number eight, Dean Pelicanos. Number nine, Bayer ba Antonio. Number 10, Brendan Chalakian. Number 35, Lockie Constable. Number 14, Braden Sorge. And number 66, Matteo Cordier. Rounds out the starting 11 for Paul Deesman. Flying high in third place at the moment. Just eight rounds in after finishing second last season there. Looking the goods in the early stages of the season here, Rockdale. As are Sydney United coming back from a disappointing 10th place result last season. Just knocking on the door of the top six. The win here today could push firmly up into that battle for the top three. Not a good chance here if we could find Udashevsky. It's past the Chalakian. It's Antonio in the end. He shot no real problem for Oliver Kalic. Comfortable save the son of a legend around here and the coach Joko Kalach speaking to him pre-game he's very relaxed no changes to the team that won last week there it was Chalaki and trying to play Udashevsky through it's an offside call they thought it looks like it's going to be a free kick the way of Rockdale Linden first free kick of the game it's in very very dangerous territory Danzo was looking to take it quick but gets the ball back anyway from Pelicanos. He's Chalakian. Antonio tried to get the ball back to him. And he's won it back there. That is a great effort from Brendan Chalakian. But Tomalic picking up the scraps, clearing that away. Out to Milosevic. He's met by a couple Rockdale defenders and they'll retain the ball, the visitors. So rounding out those lineups for the visitors on the bench, number 16, So Kataoko. Number 20, the backup keeper, Ricardo Rizzo. Number 22, Blake Ricotto. 
And number 23, Hunter Elliott. Number 2, Daniel Collins. Number 15 with three goals this season. I'm sure he'll be featured this game. Holly Inka, son Mola, former Mount Druitt Town Ranger. Ball over the top there. Good defensive pressure there from Liam Hatch. Forces Lockie Constable. Send it out on the full. Tarek Meyer. His Constable just working his backside off to try and get the ball back, make it up for his team. And you love to see that here. Long ball over the top. Trying to find Milosevic, but Devonish Mir is first to it. And Rockdale with a chance to go the other way. Pelicanos. On the ball now. So these two sides. Not much to split them. If you're looking at the history of this fixture, the last 25 or so games across all competitions, including cups and even the old friendly here, 25 games played and it's an even nine wins apiece and seven draws in between. Long ball from... There was a long ball in there from Constable. Forced the head of Bailey Rule at right back and it's going to be the first corner of the game for Rockdale. Early pressure here from both sides, but Rockdale here with the first real good chance five minutes into this game. They've scored plenty of goals in this fixture. They don't need to worry about that. The last three times these sides have played, they've scored three in all of them, but only managing to win one of them. Two, three or draws in the last three between these two sides. What can they do from here? It's find the back stick and Kalach bumps into a few players, but pretty comfortable in the end there, and he'll look to release Hatch early. Doesn't have the numbers he wants. He's got Nakamura in the middle if he wants. He's going to go all the way here, Hatch. Hatch, one-on-one -on -one with Danzo, gets it through the legs. But the veteran defenders have it. none of that. Sends it straight back to his keeper, Devonish Mears. But it only goes as far as the Sydney United skipper, Adrian Vlastelito, who unfortunately sends that one out. But as we mentioned earlier, these two sides... It's pretty incredible. Last 25 games, they've won nine apiece each. So the individual record there, nine wins, nine losses, and seven draws. There is not much to split if you're comparing these two sides. Obviously, form this season plays a bit of a role into it. Rockdale, although they've only won three of their last five, they've looked ruthless in front of goals. They've scored three or more goals in three of those last five, including a 4-0 smacking a St. George. Their local rivals is... Antonio, a chance to get it in here. It was Constable in the middle, but again, McGinn getting the better of the cross there. Here's Pelicanos. Finds Danzo in an advanced position. Tiki Taka football now for Rockdale. Ball in from Pelicanos. Finds Sorgi in a bit of space. Sorgi sees Udashevsky in the middle. Couldn't get the curl on it though. Perfectly timed, perfectly weighted, just couldn't get the angle on the ball. And Kalach was trying to get it to Nakamura early. And Milosevic, bit of an unfortunate bounce there. And that's a handball. Plenty of action in these first seven minutes. Sydney United, 58. They're yet to really get a good chance whilst Rockdale have had a couple. And Rockdale are uh, no... They know how to find the back of the net. Just trying to find the words to put it politely, but they can find the back of the net with these. They really can. This is their last game. A 3-1 win against the Northwest Sydney Spirit. A side that Sydney United only managed a one or draw with a bit of unfortunate circumstances that day. A midweek fixture at Christie Park. Bit of a late goal from the Spirit to salvage a point. But they've bounced back from that pretty firmly, Sydney United, without loss in their last five. It's a good bit of defensive work there from Sorge. Braden Sorge, very reliable, running up and down that right flank. And Hatch again. A bit unusual seeing a left back wear the number 11 jersey. Just not too sure if that was a positional switch at the start of the year or club management's just let a left back wear number 11, but might need a bit of an investigation there. I'll tell you that for sure. The Defenders Union won't be happy with that, but Rockdale the other way now. Pelicanos got space to go if he wants it. He's got options out on the left. It's Antonio there. He's got plenty of space. Rule's got a bit of ground to make up. Antonio with the early ball again was looking for either Chalakian or Udashevsky. Unable to get it. And Kalach had to make four or five saves, but 
None really, really tested him so far and shown his capabilities in goals. Conceded 14 in the first eight, which is amongst the best in the league. Nakamura's heavy touch dealt with by Braden Sorgi. Again, he's just doesn't mind roaming up on the right flank here for Rockdale and part of their success going forward, those fullbacks linking up with the wide men either side. Lucky Constable on the right and Bow Antonio usually out there on the left. It's Isaac Danzo now. Plenty of action around the league as well. Three simultaneous kickoffs happening as we speak. Blacktown City hosting Sydney FC. Central Coast Mariners at Sydney Olympic. The Wollongong Wolves hosting Apia Leichhardt. All the three o'clock and then once this game ends, you should be able to tune in to our last game of match day nine. The league leaders, Western Sydney Wanderers against Manly United who are surprisingly in a bit of a relegation scrap to start the year. So could be a very interesting one considering what happened yesterday at Seymour Shore with the Sutherland Sharks getting their result there as Carlos de Oliveira plays Nakamura through. Here's a chance if he gets it onto the right. That's a great bit of defensive work there. Nakamura won't be able to get to it. And Rockdale can go the other way through Constable. Chalakian. Almost lost possession there to Nakamura. Oh. Break away here. Udashevsky try to flick it back through the legs of McGing. It's gone in here. Antonio can get it across if he wants. And Vlastelitsa, what a challenge. The skipper leading from the back, no worries whatsoever, sliding in and perfectly takes the ball. You know it's a good challenge from a centre-back when the other bench isn't calling for a penalty, so pat on the back for himself there, Adrian Vlastelitsa. But Rockdale with their second corner of the game. Look at the counter-attacking field from both sides, plenty of pace to burn up top. What can Chalakian produce from this corner for Rockdale? Gets it into the middle... It's almost flicked in. It's almost def deflected away there by Bailey Rule. Try to get... Didn't get a real clearance on it. Sliced it away for a corner. Third of the game for Rockdale. And it was Lockie Griffiths. Header. It was almost wide open. And you don't want to leave him... He's the tallest player on the team. You don't want to leave him open in the box. And Sydney United aware of that. Tomalich marking him now. At the front stick, it was Chalakian's header flick on. And just no one there for Rockdale. Sydney United might have got away with one there, but they can't rest for too long. Ball back in the middle. Almost bounced into the way of Chalaki, and he was open. At the penalty spot, essentially, and it's gone out for a goal kick. Oliver Kalac taking his time to get to this one. Give his side a bit of a breather. And under the pump the last couple of minutes, Sydney United, after a relatively even start to the game, both sides... Be sure to update you with some scores from around the grounds as they start to come in. And apologies to Blake Rusciuto. Pronounced his name wrong. A bit prone to that. Unfortunately, a bit disappointed in myself with that one, but... Apologies to the Rusciuto family. I'm sure we'll see him feature. So no goals yet around the grounds, but a lot of attacking frenzies, these sides that are playing around. And then the Western Sydney Wonder is obviously playing at 5 o'clock. They know how to find the back of the net. But so do these two sides. And Rockdale have shown that in the very early stages. Sydney United, the last couple of minutes, just been behind the ball. Haven't been able to find a rhythm in attack. As Vlasilitsa out of his line, stops Chalakian. And De Oliveira try to play Nakamura over the top again. But Devin Ishmears, again, first to it. Almost playing in that sweeper-keeper role. United in their last match probably consider themselves a bit unlucky to not get three points 
at the London Stadium going against Blacktown City. Late goal from Mitchell Malia, the returning Mitchell Malia. Gave Blacktown City a two or draw and it was Carlos de Oliveira against his old side, unable to get all three points. And it's looking to work back here. Gonna beat his man to the ball. He's unable to, but he'll stay around. Bit of a workhorse in the number 10 jersey for Sydney United. Crossy in straight to Kalach again. Kalach, no problems there. Diffuses that cross very, very easily. Unfortunate end there for Braden Sorgi on the right. See now a bit more of a conservative approach in attack from Sydney United. They're wary of the threat that Rockdale pose on the counter attack, especially with Udashevsky. But a chance here with Maya. Gets it out to Nakamura. He's got space. He's got time. Braden Sorge again on top of it. Top performance so far from Sorge defensively. I'm fine for Rockdale with Linden. And Paul D. Paul D. Gives him a little snot of approval there on the sideline. Letting him know that he's happy with his centre back. Or his right back, apologies. Braden Sorge, of course, one of the Many goal scorers for Rockdale Linden this year. 20 goals in the first eight games. Nine out of the last ten. Hit three or more. And obviously a lot of that is to thank to their captain, Alec Udashevsky. Scored in seven straight games. Eight goals so far this season. The only game he didn't score in was the first game of the season. Devonish Mears under a bit of pressure. Sorgi out to Griffiths. Griffiths, great work to get out of that little bit of trouble. He was in there. Pelicanos tried to find Antonio out on the left and too much. Antonio a bit too advanced for that pass and Sydney United again. Bit of a let off. Really, the first three or four minutes they were looking very promising in attack. Sydney United and just moments like that. Joko Kalic wondering what, what's happening in the early stages here. Blastolitsa and Hatch having a few words for each other while Kalic just yells his disapproval at him on the sideline. Not a man you want to get upset for sure, but once he's a happy man, he's a great man to have around. Thank you everyone for joining along on the live stream, including... My boss and a lot of people's boss, Mark Savrilakis, be on this game late notice. But when you get the call up to do Rockdale versus Sydney United, you don't say no. And I've been looking forward to this all week long. Coming into the ground today, there was a buzz, and you just know the big games like this, it's going to produce the fireworks. And Rockdale looking for a spark here. Hatch gets it away from Constable and finds the Oliveira. Sorgi's almost beaten here. Finds Nakamura. He's got Hatch on his left. Got acres of space to go. Liam Hatch, he's got Antelmi at the back stick. Goes for Antelmi. Patrick Antelmi! Inches over the bar. And Sydney United's number nine won't want to watch that one back. That was a great bit of counter attack. Liam Hatch showing all the speed he has. Sensational ball through, and he didn't mess around with it. Oliveira giving the foul away here. Hatch knew straight away, selfless play, straight to the back stick. This was almost, almost hit out by Spiranza. Just missed it, and then tell me, I think that bounce just got him at the end there. But Rockdale, massive wake up call for them. Been ahead, been on the front foot the last 10 or 12 minutes, and just one counter attack like that, and that front three of Sydney United just showing what they can do, and especially with. Carlos de Oliveira started that one from basically his own half, got through, and the only time this game that Braden sorgi has been beaten, and Hatch pretty uh, unsuspectingly fast there. I think a lot of people wouldn't have suspected he had that much pace, but Lockie Griffiths just didn't really notice him. He was that fast on his left, and perfect ball played through from Nakamura. As Sydney United regain possession here with Oliver Kalach at the back. Plays it out to... Lastelitsa, the captain, captain on captain. Udashevsky slides in. Referee plays advantage. Here's Hatch. 
Plays it safe back to Tarek Meyer. Tomalich out wide to McGinn. Again, one of many new faces in the 2024 squad. Sydney United side. Again, De Oliveira. Great find for Joker Kalic as they replaced a lot of experience in attack and see the notable clencher of hero retiring and De Oliveira taking up his spot and he's looked pretty good so far. Liam Hatch with a chance here. Nakamura gets it onto the right, flicks it in, deflected away and cleared in the end there by Speranza. And it's a good clearance as well. Chalakian just a chance to hold it up and just give his side a chance to catch their breath back. Under the pump the last couple of minutes there. He's Constable. De Oliveira forces him out. Great bit of defensive work there from the number 10. Lucky Constable. Just try to stop it on his right and just slipped on the uh, the synthetic turf here at Sydney United. It is a little bit slippery when it when it can be. Take that from first hand experience with no boots on. It's not a fun experience, but back to the action here. Tomalich, Nakamura, and tell me try to get it on his left, and Griffiths first to it. And tell me working hard to get the ball back. Plenty of pressure off the ball here from Sydney United, and spoke to a few of the players during the preseason to see how the Joker Kalac regime was going in the scorching hot sun. And it's safe to say they did a lot of running in this preseason, Sydney United. They want to be fit. Plenty of young and fresh faces especially on the bench, fighting for spots. But seems as though Kalic has found his formula here with this starting 11. A great mix of youth and experience, which is what every, every team in this competition really strives for. But Sydney United have found it in abundance, whereas Rockdale obviously just talent all around the park. Plenty of experience as well on paper. More experience than their counterparts. But it hasn't stopped Sydney United in the early stages here. Tomlich with a bit of pressure. Meyer absolutely does Constable in there. It's almost on the ground. Great bit of skill there. And a funny little header in the end there from Braden Sorgi. Devison, Devonish Mears. Apologies for the mispronunciation there. Had to make a bit of a save to get to that header. Otherwise, we could have been looking at one of the better own goals this season. Chance to re-break. Here's Cordier. Cordier early, trying to find Udashevsky. But Vlastelitz is there. It's a good little striker centre-back captain battle that we have here. It's pretty rare to see striker and the centre-back captains going up against each other. But Paddy and Telmi, from within his own half, goes for the absolute spectacular. Not enough power on it. Just a little bit more. He might have had Devonish Mears beaten. That is extraordinary. When players shoot when the keeper's out, it's usually from within the circle on the other side. But Paddy can't tell me from about 10 metres in from the sideline, well within his own half, has a crack, and why not? But Danzo to Chalakian. Here's Constable Udashevsky. Great stop again from Lasselitsa. He's gotten the better of him so far and looking to put that seven-game straight goals run from Udashevsky to an end, and he's doing a great job of it so far. The Sydney United 58 skipper. It's Constable. He's trying to find Sorgi and trapped the triangle of Hatch, De Oliveira and Tadic Meyer. And Hatch will get the ball back here for Sydney United. This Rockdale Linden defence amongst the best in the league. Second least amount of goals conceded so far across the eight games. Leading just 10, only behind St. George City, who got an impressive win last night against the Marconi Stallions. So tied for the second best defensive record with the Bullongong Wolves, who, after starting the season pretty red hot, have had a bit of inconsistency in the last couple of games. As have Rockdale, I mean, currently sitting in third place, four points off the top. Of the league leaders, the surprising, the surprise packet of this season, the Western Sydney Wanderers. 
It's a lopsided pass there from Isaac Danzo. Just got the wrong side of his foot and it's out on the full. Paddy Anselmi gets it back from this throw. And straight back out. It's a disappointing one for Sydney United. Shoko Kalach won't like seeing that, especially after forcing their opponents into an uncharacteristic error. Got to capitalise on those moments and have coughed up one themselves here. De Oliveira, plenty of pressure on Braden Sorgi and he's come forward for an attack. De Oliveira got a foot to it. Maya slides in and De Oliveira wins it back. Sorgi's a bit out of position, but clearance has gone straight to Chilaki and tries to get on his right and McGinn stops him there. Centre-back pairing for Sydney United 58. This season has worked wonders. Just complement each other so well. Captain Adrian Vlastelitsa. Danzo Pelicanos. Chalakian's marked by Tomalic and it's not letting him out of his sight. Constable. Sorgi back out to Danzo. Try to play a 1-2 with Chalakian. And it's going to end up in the feed of Tomalic. Hatches pass. Unfortunately, goes straight to Chalakian. Chance here at the edge of the box if he wants it. Pelicanos out wide. Danzo across the face. Udyshevsky was there. Got in front of him again. But Vlastelitsa again. Gets in front of it. And a get out of jail free card for Sydney United. Fourth corner of the game for Paul Deesman. Almost everyone up in the box for this one. Looking at the back stick. Just skins the head of Braden Sorgi and won't be able to get onto the back of that. Disappointing one there from Bay Antonio. So going into a bit more of the history of this fixture between these two sides. I think it's Rockdale or Linden. Had the better of Sydney United, 58, in this competition specifically. Sydney United, 58's last win against Rockdale Linden, coming in the 2020 final series, winning on penalties. But before that, their last regular season win against Rockdale Linden came on May 26th in 2019. Obviously, a lot of COVID interruptions in between those times, so the stats are a little bit inflated in terms of years. But it's been a disappointing run for Sydney United against... Rockdale Linden, two of the competition heavyweights. Here's a chance here, long efforts. Try to curl it around was Bay Antonio. He just never really got a good hold of it. It's behind the ball and stretched out at all his capacity to get on the end of it. And no problems there for the Sydney United 58 defence. But again, Rockdale just asking a few questions of this defence. And they've held strong so far, 25 minutes into this clash. Kalic's ball only goes as far as Spidanza. Very advanced. Go around the grounds. A few goals scored. Wollongong Wolves up 1-0 against last or the reigning premiers. Apia Leichhardt, Blacktown City holding a 1-0 lead over Sydney FC. Sydney Olympic also 1-0 against now bottom of the league Central Coast Mariners that won't help their case in the relegation scrap very very interesting towards the bottom of the ladder even though it's the early stages of the season there's six or seven teams that will consider themselves in danger for long parts of this season every point matters Vastelitz's long clearance never really looked like staying in unfortunately and Solid as ever defensively, Vastelitsa, but unfortunately for Sydney United, he's had a few chances like that gone out. Chalakian plays it through to Udashevsky. Can he get there first? Alec Udashevsky opens the score in for Rockdale Linden. It's his ninth of the season. How did he get to that one? He's cooking something special up this season. The reigning player of the year, the attacker of the month for last month, Alec Udashevsky opens the score for Rockdale Linden, and it's 1-0 at the Sydney United Sports Centre. He just continues to surprise 
every goal is better than the last, it seems, for Ale Kudashevsky. Rockdale Linden legend, MPL New South Wales legend. Kudashevsky out of nothing. Really, in that last minute, it was all Sydney United and Chalaki, and from this angle, that ball looked way too far. Kalac is just half a step behind it, unfortunately, and Udashevsky, all he needs is a toe to it, essentially, and he gets to it. Sorgi again. Header just a little bit wayward for Devonish Mears. Saves it in the end there. Very reliable in, the st in between the sticks for Paul D. Got great goalkeeping stocks as well. Ricardo Rizzo on the bench if he needs. A very rare occasion that the goalkeeper may go down. Griffiths now, so with Griffiths bringing it up for Rockdale, it's just pretty impressive to look back at what Udashevsky has accomplished already this season. It's his ninth so far, and he extends his lead top of the Golden Boot race. He's the player of the season last year, attacker of the month for the last month. He'll probably go close again in both categories this year. Just keeps racking up those three points. Zantelmi tried to test it onto Nakamura. De Oliveira looks like he's moved into that left wing position. He wins it back as we say that. Bit of a tactical adjustment there for Kalac. Wins it there again. He's got all board. De Oliveira had a chance to shoot. And he is incredibly frustrated with that. But a pretty fair call from the referee in the end there. Did get the ball, but he also got Pelicanos. Devin Ishmir is not wasting any time there. So Rockdale, as it stands, have unbeaten in their last five against Sydney United in this competition. Looking to extend it to six and pretty disappointing for the hosts to concede in that matter, considering what they've done so far defensively. But Rockdale aren't going to stop anytime soon. If the last couple of fixtures are to show 3-3 three, three, the last time these two sides played here and it was a pretty incredible comeback. Considering the circumstances, Sydney United were down 3-0 after about 15 minutes. Udashevsky with a double on the day, and it was also by Antonio who got on the score sheet. Milosevic wins it back from Speranza. He's doing everything to get it back. Hands on action, and the active supporters on the hill, they're calling for a foul, and the referee sees no issue with that. As the sun comes out in the final 15 minutes of this first half, here in Adenza Park at the Sydney United Sports Centre. Free kick taken quickly. Maya Milosevic. Can he get onto a Milosevic back in the area? But Devin Ishmir is almost collected by the front stick. But he gets the ball in the end. The Rockdale keeper. The chance to go the other way just as quickly as you look up. Antonio almost on the end of this. Collects Adrian Vlastelitsa, kicks the ball away, and a bit of frustration there. Vlastelitsa looking good so far alongside McGinn. Just very unfortunate on that goal, but when you've got an opposing player that you know, just has the quality of Ali Kudashevsky. You can't give him half an inch. And I mean, if any side would know, it is Sydney United 58, some of the battles that these two sides have had. And Kudashevsky loves a goal in this fixture as well. He loves a goal in all fixtures, let's be fair. He's hungry for goals and he's, he's never really satisfied. He always wants more. There's a reason he wears the armband for Paul D. The best players to ever grace this competition, Ali Kudashevsky. Maya with a nice turn to get past Chalakian. Going to play it out wide. Milosevic. Cuts back in the middle. Gets it through the legs of Danzo Milosevic. Over the top. Long ball. Bailey rule. First time. Gets it in the middle. Patrick Etelmi was there. But just that awkward angle between the head and legs. Couldn't do much there. The Sydney United 58 striker. Two goals this season. Paddy Antelmi. He'll be disappointed with that one for sure. Last week, in that two-all draw with Blacktown City, it was 
the Oliveira and Nakamura on the score sheet and they've looked likely but Paddy Antelmi knocking on the door he's getting in the right positions that's all you can ask for from a striker of his quality and the likes of Nakamura, Di Oliveira, Maya Tomalic and Milosevic. They'll be sure to find him eventually. Here's the Rockdale side and they're looking to find Alec Udashevsky who's just drifted out wide as Constable goes into the middle. Antonio's cross is deflected away by Bailey Rule. Spudanza disposes of him. There's Constable, he's gone from the right to the centre to the left. Looking for Udashevsky at the back stick, but he's marked pretty heavily there by Hatch and a bit of a mistake from Lockie Constable. The position there on the left. Throw taken quickly. Nakamura almost gets past Griffith. Comes in perfectly for Tarek Meyer. It's going to be an early card there. Lockie Griffiths out of position, holding up the play. Tactical foul, smart one in those circumstances. But the yellow card given. Lockie Griffiths, first one in the book. In the 35th minute. And again, taking it just as quickly as the last free kick. Great turn from Antelmi. Thought he was going to go for it. Finds the Oliveira instead. Bit of pinball action there, and it ends up at the feet of Constable. Grushevsky now. Vastelitsa meets him with a bit of intent. Stamping his authority on that battle. Advantage played for the time being. Spadanza's got room if he can get past Milosevic. Tries to play it in the middle. McGinn's there first. And Rule gets it away from Antonio. Back to that man, Milosevic. Lastalitsa sees the run of Hatch. But opts to go in the middle. Maya's got space to go. Finds the Oliveira. Hatch. One on one with Sorgi. Hatch with an early ball to Di Oliveira. Didn't get any of the ball there, and Lockie Griffiths goes to ground. Challenge there from Di Oliveira. Another unfortunate end to one of those attacks of Sydney United, and I'm not too sure how worried Paul D would be with this. Alikudashevsky, well behind the defensive line, stretching out the calves. Hands on the hips, he looks gassed. He's gotten through a lot of work so far, Udashevsky. See the conditions playing in his favour as well. The sun has stayed away for the majority of this match. Temperature right now sitting at around 25, 26 degrees. A nice little breeze coming through. This ground typically colder than most in the southwest of Sydney, so I'm sure that will help cool down the engine of the league's top goal scorer. Sorgi now. Carlos to Danzo. Chalakian not messing around and great one touch football from Rockdale Linden. He's Cordier. Danzo assesses his options, goes for goal, Isaac Danzo. Pretty routine save in the end there for Oliver Kalach. He's gotten through a decent amount of work so far. Sydney United's number one. Good so far in the games since Daniel Nizic's departure at the back end of last year. Massive blow for Sydney United. He's one of the best keepers in the league and enjoying his time as the backup goalkeeper for MacArthur Bulls. Interesting to see what happens once that contract expires if we see him back here in Adenza Park. A great battle for the number one as Tomalic. Turns his man, Maya, first time over the top, Nakamura. No good for that counter-attack. Put to rest for the time being. Just under six minutes to go here. So every goal so far has got a... Every game so far has got a goal in it. Four games simultaneously playing. Side by side. Blacktown City got a second... Against Sydney FC, Jacob O'Brien and Travis Major on the score sheet within 10 minutes of each other. And Sydney United will look to find themselves on the score sheet here. Hatch has got room to go forward if he wishes. Cuts in on his right. Hatch to Di Oliveira. Does well to keep it. 
Back out to Tomalic. First time to Milosevic. Bailey Rule. Milosevic first time. Good save from Devin Schmears. Great turn from Milosevic and great little triangle of play between Rule, Milosevic and Tomalic. It's pretty rare to see him shoot Anthony Tomalic and you now his family's here watching that. They watch about every game that he plays, travel all around the state to watch him and I'm sure in the back of their heads they would have been saying shoot. Not to be. He knows his role, he knows his position. He's a six at heart and when he gets on the uh, goal scoring sheet one day, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations here at Adenza Park. But Sorgi and Rockdale Linden putting a halt to that for the time being. Long ball over the top from Constable. Udashevsky on the left. Rule almost took him down. Udashevsky's ball in the middle. Chalaki and got in the end of it. It's going to go out in the end for a goal kick. Udashevsky is not just a goal scorer. He has been known to facilitate goals in the past as well. Astelitza takes it forward. The Oliveira loses it. Lucky Griffiths. They've got numbers if they want it here. Back to the centre back. Griffiths. Antonio's pass only as far as Meyer, but Griffiths does well to win it back. He's gotten through a few here. Lockie Griffiths. And Chalaki and fouled off the ball by Di Oliveira. The two number 10s combining there. And I think the defenders union won't be too happy with that because Lockie Griffiths was probably one defender away from having a decently open shot there. And what a goal it would have been. Chance here for Rockdale to reassess. It's like a bit of a meeting between Pelikanos and Antonio. Rudashevsky walks away. Antonio can strike her with his left. Pelikanos on the right. Very, very dangerous. Either one of them. Who's it going to be for Rockdale or Linden? Can they make a two just before the break? Antonio under the wall and it's brilliantly read there from Kalach. Not often you see that. Driven low and hard, but Kalach, as he has done this game, diffusing the situation just as quickly. Maya gets out of a bit of danger, but Hatch only as far as Sorgi on the right. But he make up for it there with a long clearance. And Rockdale again. Regaining possession. Joko Kalach on the sideline. Doesn't look too happy. With this little flurry of attack from Rockdale Linden. Side chasing the ball and on the back foot here. The back end of this first half. They'd love a goal. They'd love to go into the halftime break level. Just haven't shown much signs in attack in the later stages of this half after a very, very promising start. Pelicanos now. Brilliant football to watch this from Rockdale Linden. One touch forward. Really, really is. Great style of football that Paul D has instilled on this side. Antonio makes a run down the right, gets it in the middle. Spidanza's touch was just a little bit too heavy. And Vlastelitz is going to go on a run for himself. Nakamura turns his man and. Probably another tactical foul given there. Chance for Rockdale to get some numbers back. And Vastelitzer again just leading by example. Getting it forward as he does there. Taken quickly. A bit too much for Bailey Rule on the right. He'll be disappointed with himself there. The United 58 skipper. One of the few survivors from last year's side alongside Tarek Meyer, Patrick Antelmi, Anthony Tomalic. Bailey Rule, who'd only just joined as well. A lot of the regulars around here departing. A good chance here for Rockdale. Antonio first time, a little bit too high for Udashevsky as Hatch gets it past Constable, but only as far as Sorgi. 
Pelicanos now. Ball over the top for Sergi. Chalakian's disappointed with himself. Couldn't get the flick on that. But they've still got numbers forward and they've still got pressure going forward. Constable first time tries to get it through to Chalakian and shielded off the ball by Vlastelitsa as Kalach picks that one up. Pretty easy in the end there. So as things stand, Rockdale would leapfrog Marconi into second, leaving Sydney United stranded on 14 points in seventh and vulnerable to dropping down to eighth with a Wollongong Wolves win. How the scores are currently going and Meyer with his body on the line there and that is a crucial stop because Wudashevsky looked through for all money if that ball from Pelicanos had the right amount of power on it, which it did look like it had. It's near Olympic have taken a 2-0 lead now against the Central Coast Mariners. And Pelicanos on his way towards goal. Pelicanos looking to lay it off. Wudashevsky again. Great save from Kalac. He's always lurking Wudashevsky and Kalac is aware of it. Great stop in the end there. But it's not over for now. Danzo back to Wudashevsky across the face, but Kalach again. Three or four really good saves in a matter of minutes. He's earning his paycheck today, Oliver Kalach. And he's done well, doing the number one jersey. Doing it proud. There's plenty of legends of Australian football that have worn this jersey, including his father on the sideline. United. We're already in the last five minutes. Deep into Rockdale's half as we injury, enter injury time now. Should be any second now that we'll be heading to the break. And there it is. End of the first half. It's Alec Kuduszewski's goal in the 29th minute that separates the two sides. Been a fascinating first half so far. Rockdale ending the first half the better of the two sides. But there is still plenty of football to be played in the final 45 minutes. So please join us back on the Football New South Wales YouTube page for the second half of action. Till then, enjoy your break. We'll be back very, very shortly for the second half.
Welcome back to Denza Park here at the Sydney United Sports Centre. Second half underway. It's Rockdale Linden with a 1-0 lead. And that is courtesy of Alec Udashevsky's strike in the 29th minute. Spidanza might have been caught up for a handball. Liners caught on to our referees. Taking a couple seconds. Let the play go on. Sydney United get an early free kick here. Take a bit of pressure off. Final 15 minutes of the first half was depicted almost solely by Rockdale Linden after a pretty even start and Hatch with a poor touch goes out. First time Rockdale get the ball back early. First 10 minutes was just back and forth, very fast pace start and then as both sides kind of got into the rhythm of the game, it's a bit more Rockdale in attack. There's a few chances going the way wayside of the goals. Unfortunately for the hosts, and then Alec Gudashevsky with half a sniff. It's Tomalich fouls Chalakian. Chalakian kicking the ball away. Nanga. Porti does the same thing. Cards kept in the pocket, which they have been all game. Hockey Griffiths, the only one to make it into the book so far in the 35th minute after a tactical foul, stopping a counter attack, which Rockdale so dangerous at. Chalakian, first time through to Udashevsky. On the slide, Udashevsky stays down after that one. He really had to extend to get onto the end of that. Might have stretched the hamstrings out a little bit too early for his body's liking, Alec Udashevsky. And if you're just joining us, I highly recommend going back and watching it in the 29th minute or some goal from Udashevsky. Wasn't the flashiest of finishes, but just the amount of ground that he makes up and Stretches out to chip it over Oliver Kalach. Some finish and his ninth goal for the season, eighth straight. He scored in every single game other than the first one this year. Alec Udashevsky. And player of the month for April. For some reason he's just oozes class. As have the rest of this Rockdale squad throughout this game as Spidanza looking to get something going. Cordier. Devonish me is under a bit of pressure. Plenty of numbers forward. Sydney United, and that's the reason why if they get the ball back, the counter attacks on. Maya looking for the early ball. Had Rule and Milosevic either side of him. Just playing it safe. Hatch with pace to burn. Hatch almost gets past Constable, but good work in the end there from the number 35. Udashevsky was looking to time his run there, but Pelikanos again just opting to play it safe. Trapped in a bit of a corner. Chalaki and quick ball to Pelikanos. Goes out, but Rockdale gaining some precious meters in attack. Just at the halfway line now. Reminder, we've got the four other games playing at the same time as this. Blacktown City, 4-0 at halftime against Sydney FC. Sydney Olympic, 2-0 over Central Coast. Wollongong Wolves, 1-0 over Apia Leichhardt. Blacktown City with four goals in 25 minutes to take a convincing lead there. Showing what they've got in attack. No changes to report from either bench. We'll see Sydney United with a cup game on Tuesday night. 48 hours turnaround for their next clash and they head down the Hume Motorway to face Bull IFC Tuesday night in the preliminary rounds of the Australia Cup. Offside there, Paddy Antelmi gives Rockdale a chance to set something up here. Come out of the break with plenty of energy. The front Two and midfield of Sydney United 58. Interested to hear what Joko Kalach said to his side during the break because they did show flashes, but disappointing end to the first half. Substitutes being warmed up already. Robillard, Lacalandra, and Zervis all ready to go. Spidanza now. Early border Chalaki, and it's 
Win well there by Meyer, but he's lost it just as quickly. Chalaki and Chip over the top trying to find Rudashevsky, but Rule just gets a little bit of his head onto it. And Kalach can clean that one up. Now Vastelitsa. Hatch advanced already. Something's coming here for Sydney United. You can just sense it. Tomalic, early ball out to McGing. She does so well, Tomalic. Can float between the six and the centre back roll. Rule gets past Antonio, ball back in the middle, but only as far as Cordier. And it's going to be Sydney United 58's first corner of the game. Five minutes into this second half. Maya going to take this one. He's got a few aerial options if he wants. More than a few. Maya's cross, front stick, headed away by Sorgi. Out to Di Oliveira. Wanted to have it first go. Has it. Nothing really tr troubling. Devonish Mears, unfortunately. Probably a little bit too behind that one. To Oliveira, the bounce caught him a little bit off guard. Heavy touch. Nakamura with an open goal. He gets it. Sydney United 58 level. And it's Devonish Mears. Had an absolute nightmare. Nakamura and Antoni had been pressing the defence to start this first half. And that's the reward they get. Shunta Nakamura levels the score in the 51st minute. And we are tied here at Sydney United Sports Centre. What an addition he's been to this side. Shunta Nakamura. We noted that coming out of the halftime break, Sydney and I look to have had a little bit of juice in them. Antomi and Nakamura are all over this defensive line, pressing off the ball. And it's finally paid off, and it's disappointing for Devonish Mears because he'd had such a good game up until that point and unfortunately he's cost his side a goal. But they'll look to fire back straight away. It was almost through to Udashevsky, but Rule gets there first. Danza now looking to reset. Only as far as Milosevic. They'll get it back here. Love this one-touch football. Rockdale Linden. Chilaki and through to Antonio. Try to play it through to Constable, but Hatch... Had his eyes on the ball. The Constables run a little bit too late there. They should get another chance here. Pelicanos' header cleared by Hatch. Chance to reset. Plenty of time on the ball, Griffiths. So the crowd gives it to him. Assessing his options and just going back. Nothing wrong about that. Playing it safe. Crowd trying to put a pretty bit of pressure on Devonish Mears after his earlier error. And Tomalic going halfway up the pitch to try and force an error. Nakamura wins it back. Over the top, Di Oliveira had Antelmi in the middle. Just playing it safe, looking to keep possession. And he just got on top of the ball there on the bounce. Plays it out. Another frustrating end to an attack there for Sydney United 58. But they've broken this Rockdale Linden defence. As we said, every time these two sides play, there's always goals. You could bet your money on that for sure. As it stands, three of the last four outings ending in a point each for both sides. It's just most of those draws end in 3-3 for some reason. It's You look at the history of this fixture and typically the winning side has to get three to win. Just sense a bit of a momentum shift towards the host now. The crowd's getting a bit vocal. All quiet on the Rockdale front. Nakamura trying to play Milosevic, but Spiranza should get there first. Back to Devonish Mears. The crowd trying to put him under a bit more pressure, but that's a perfect pass and a perfect answer from the keeper there. 
Shalakian can't get past Maya. Speranza keeps it in. In the middle is Constable. Try to play the only one to Antonio. Only as far as Oliver Kalach. And again, long ball. And tell me, chesting it down. It's going to fall perfectly for Chalakian. Good chance for Rockdale. Udashevsky's in space out wide. Goes through Pelikanos. Great stop by McGinn. And now the other way, Sydney United. Nakamura, great one too with the Oliveira. Tell me, try to play him through again. Maya gets to it. The Oliveira with plenty of space to go forward. Three options in the middle if he wants it. Plays Paddy and tell me. And tell me goes first time. Stopped by Cordier. And the clearance by Griffith. Speed his keeper to it. And a foul on Tomilic against Brendan Shalakian. This stopped what could have been a bit of a reset for the Sydney United 58 attack. And Shalakian's remained out for the time being. Sydney United 58 unbeaten in their last five. And I think you've got to credit that to one person and one person only, and that's uh, the recent arrival, Anthony Tomalich's newborn son, Leon. He's only seen his father lose once in the last six outings. Unfortunately, he was born prior to the 6 0 walloping at the hands of Sydney Olympic. But since then, every game he's attended, he's seen a win, which is good signs. Sydney United need a good luck charm and I think they found it without a loss in five. They've only lost two games this season out of the eight. Turn you the other way. Great stop by McGinn. It gets it out off Chalaki and that is an excellent bit of defending there. One half of one of the more dominant centre-back pairings in the league. Lastelitza and McGinn. Pulls throw only as far to Spidanza, but Tomilic first to it again, and Paul D playing temporary ball boy for the time. Gets it straight to his right back for a quick throw. Nakamoto's on it already. He wants another one. The superstar signing for Sydney United 58. Now Sorgi. Constable plays. Could have a shot here. Opts to go out to his left. Was looking for Antonio. And that's a disappointing end for Rockdale. The tide just slowly, slowly shifting towards Sydney United 58. It's the mistakes that they were making in the first half has almost rubbed off on Rockdale with Linden. Pelicanos loses it to De Oliveira. Was going the wrong way. Milicevic now goes long. Sorge is out of position. And Hatch had a chance to take it forward, and referee says he controlled it with his arm, and it's going to be a free kick. Just over an hour gone here. Half an hour to play. Plenty of football to be played. Sun setting here in Adenza Park. You've got to wonder if that's going to start to play its factor. Assistance. Getting their players warmed up. Rockdale will look to make a sub sooner rather than later. Now Constable. Danzo. Cordier. Out wide at Spidanza. First time. Crosses deflected off Milosevic. McGinn gets to it. Headed back towards Yudasevsky. Wasn't going to score from that angle. But he almost had it to Chalaki and Opelikanos at the back stick. But Kalach is a pretty imposing figure himself. No problems for him. Great first time pass from Milosevic. Bailey Rule hasn't had many chances to go forward this game. Sh trying to show him what he's got. But a great stop in the end there. Incredible stuff. And it's going to be an early free kick. Tarek Meyer. Taken down Brendan Chalaki and who's not too happy about that. Referee puts a stop to it early. It's Bao Antonio very, very deep in his own half, working back to stop Bailey Rule as Antonio was lurking at the back stick. It's a great bit of work there, but Tarek Meyer goes into the book. 
wonder if that will play into the equation of Zoka Kalic's substitutions. Griffiths gets past Antelmi. It's out wide to Sorgi. Pelicanos first time. Constable's cross at the back stick. Rule first to it. It's going to be another corner for Rockdale Linden, fifth of the game. So it looks like Daniel Collins is being warmed up for Rockdale Linden and possibly Sun Mola as well. He's come on against his former Mount Druitt Town Ranger teammate, Shunta Nakamura. Turn his cross. Dangerous one. Griffiths almost on the end of it. Might have just skinned the top of his head. But Vlastelitsa there to defuse the situation. Good little ball. Milosevic plays it through. Nakamura's got acres of space. He's got it. Tell me in the middle. What can he do here? Nakamura goes himself across the face and blasts it over the bar. Shunta Nakamura can't believe it. Neither can Patrick and tell me. And double substitution going to be made here for Rockdale Linden. It's going to be Oli, Oli Inka San Mola coming on to replace Bay Antonio. And Daniel Collins is going to come on for Lockie Griffiths, who is on a yellow card. So, strategic move there from Paul D. Good shift from Lockie Griffiths. He'll be proud of that. Besides the yellow card, didn't put much of a foot wrong. Almost had a chance to strike it earlier. Late in the first half, was taken down after making a sensational run from basically within his own half. But Daniel Collins, the experienced head at the back, stood away with his first touch. And tell me his first touch a little bit too heavy. And Collins makes up for it there. Could have been a corner, but deflected away off the legs of Patrick Antelmi. And Antelmi's still having a word to Nakamura. I can't read lips from up here, but safe to say he's probably saying, why didn't you pass me the ball? Collins now. Tomalic resetting. Hatch hasn't had a chance to show how much pace he can burn yet in the second half. And... In the first half, almost scored a goal from it. Samola could be through here with his first touch, but Rule does well to get him away from the ball. Ends up with it in the end, Samola. To his right now, Pelicanos. Constable thinks about it. Try to play Chalaki, and Vlastelitsa sends him away. Didn't get a chance to touch the ball. Inka. San Mola, show him what he can do off the bench. He's got three goals already this season. This goal here would be a crucial bow for Sydney United 58. Started the second half, much improved from the back end of the first half performance from the hosts. Tomalic. Finds the run of Milosevic, but Cordier knew what was going to happen. Back heels it to Chalaki and Tomalic trying to win it back. Referee plays on. Nakamura over the top. Patrick Antelmi is offside. Those are the chances that he doesn't miss, but it was a good interception from Daniel Collins. Stopped the full force of the shot going towards goal, even if he was offside or not. Razor thin, that one. Good call from the linesman, though. Did look like it from up here. Nakamura making up for it. That earlier chance. Here he goes again. Nakamura. Almost. Almost forcing another error from Devonish Mears. Maya almost winning that loose pass from Constable back. Pelicanos and Di Oliveira getting into it. Good to see the referee keeping the cards away for the time being. Letting the play run on. 
And it looks like another one there. Good sportsmanship there from Bailey Rule and Speranza. Knowing both men were just going for the ball. Bit of a handshake and get on with it. Like to see it between the two sides. So around the grounds. Blacktown City now up 5 0 against Sydney FC. It's turning into a bit of a cricket scoreline. The ball over the top. Cordier denies and tell me any chance of it. So Mola traps Spiranza. Great work to get out of it. And some Mola fresh off the bench. Could have been through if we could get past McGinn, but that's a great bit of stopping there. Sensational afternoon. Liam McGinn. Chaka Kalach. Urging Shunta Nakamura. Get forward, put a bit more pressure on that defensive line. Could have been their undoing in the first half, but Braden Sorgi has been put through perfectly here by Udashevsky. Cuts in Chalaki at first side. What a save, Kalach! Could have saved his side a couple points there. Chalakian's shot was in for all money. Great reflexes there. Sydney United's number one. Chalakian looking to make up for it here with a corner. Six of the game for Rockdale. Chalakian's board, the back stick at Sorgi's head is deflected away. Heavy touch by Chalaki, and he could go for goal here. He does at the front stick, and it's another exceptional save from Kalach. And Kalach is not happy with the linesman. Thought Chalaki might have been offside there, but the deflection might have perceived his division, his vision there a little bit. Taken quickly. Chalakian at the back stick. Wodoshevsky plays it back through the middle. He was offside. Great save from Liam again there, got to say. Even though the ball was out of play. Don't let your opposition see the ball hit the back of the net. That's all the confidence they need. And Liam again knows that. Tomalich. Early ball over the top. Almost split him between it. But Nakamura... To no one, unfortunately. And Kalach, a bit of frustration going for the Sydney United sideline here. And all the momentum going their way. Numbers forward. Tomalich's ball almost split the defensive line. Could have had Antelmi or Milosevic either side of him. It's good defensive awareness from Cordier as some Molder can't get past Rule and he'll send it out for a throw in. Bailey Rule. Here's Cordier. Nakamura and Antelmi again. Pressing off the ball. Spidanza. Chalakian through to Udashevsky. We know what he could do from here. But he's offside. He's not happy about that. Very, very close one. The league's top goal scorer. Going to have to wait a little bit longer to find double digits this season. More substitutions being lined up for Paul D as Sjoko Kalac gets Stephen De Robillard ready to go and it looks like it's going to be Blake Rusciuto coming off the bench. First time from Carlos Di Oliveira trying to find Hatch on the left there. It's going out on the full but Sjoko Kalac seeing the positives on that given his central attacking mid just a bit of a round of applause to tell him that was the right thing to do there. Blake Rusciuto, the Rockdale Linden legend, is coming back after a stint in Southeast Asia. And he'll likely come in next out as Stephen De Robillard will come on now for Aidan Milosevic. Great shift 
Down the right flank for Sydney United, 58. So Dero Billard, straight swap on the left. Pretty familiar with this ground after spending the last couple of seasons with the Bulls FC Academy and Rusciuto is going to replace Lockie Constable on the right. It's two wingers coming on. You can sense a bit of urgency from both attacks with those substitutions from the experienced managers on either dugout. Good shift from uh, Lockie Constable. Spiranza now. Gets it in the middle. McGinn again with another clearance. Beaten to it on the deflection. Samola trying to play Spiranza through, but Kalach looking to play the quick one. Out to the fresh Dero Billard. He's got legs. He's ready to go. Rule plays it first time on the ground. Samola gets that and gets past his former Mount Druitt teammate Nakamura. Here's Rusciuto. The Oliveira beats Sorgi to it. Got in, tell me on the middle. He's got Dero, Dero Billard coming through as well. And tell me out on the left. Maya turns, finds Hatch in space at the back stick. Dero Billard, Spiranza first to it. And Dero Billard going for the ball, accidentally taking out Spiranza. It looks all right, but. Plenty of urgency shown from Sydney United 58 in this second half. They won all three points. It's been nearly five years since they've beaten Rockdale Linden in the regular season. And they're looking to put that streak to an end. Without a win in their last five against Rockdale. But you just can't rest on your laurels when you've got the attacking threats that Rockdale do going forward. Blastelitsa with a long ball. Sorgi's first to it, but it's going to give Sydney United a valuable possession up in the field at the halfway line. Sorgi again, first to it. Chalakian. Looking for Sun Mola. He was making the run on the inside. Ball's gone into the outside, but he gets there first. Sun Mola gets past Rule, plays it into the middle. McGinn gets there. And Rule sends it out for another corner. Number eight for Rockdale this afternoon. Just about everyone forward. Cordier and Danzo, the only ones outside the box. Even Devonish Mears is that halfway ready to go. Ball into the middle. Outside of the box, it falls to Chalaki, and who has it first time. It was always going to be tough to get past that wall of Sydney United. 58 defenders. Collins on the rebound. Didn't really test Kalach. And United, 58. Done well to get out of that situation. Tomalich's ball only as far as San Mola. Nakamura's back to meet him. Danzo. Spidanza. San Mola first time. Wasn't a bad effort. Kalach always had it covered, however, and he was probably aiming for that back stick where either Chalaki and Udashevsky could have come on to. Sydney United still with four subs to use. Only the two stoppages to use them in, however, whilst Rockdale Linden two to go. Can only stop the play one more time. Back around the grounds, no changes in that 5-0. No changes anywhere else around the grounds, I should add. 5-0 to Blacktown City over Sydney FC, and Sydney Olympics still with a 2-0 lead over the Central Coast Mariners, whilst the Wollongong Wolves 1-0 over Apia Leichhardt. In the south coast, and Nakamura now. Heavy touch, and Cordier sends him out, and that's going to be a goal kick. They've had plenty of attacking chances, Sydney United 58 so far, but only one corner to show from it. This kind of speaks to the defensive acrimon of Rockdale with Linden. Collins. It's 
Speranza. Kalach calling for his players to continue to put pressure and D. Rob Billard listening to his coach's call. He's putting them under plenty of pressure here. Speranza gets him off the ball. He's got Rashudo, plays it first time to Samola, wins it back though. Speranza now. Tanzo looked to find Chalaki and he's got his arms raised out wide. He's got acres of space if they can get the ball to him. Hatch finds his man though. Sunmola try to get past Rule, but he'll get the throw in anyway. Paul D is acting as a basically as a ball boy now. He's ready to go right up and down that sideline, even if he needs to leave his technical area to get him a quick throw in. Rockdale with Linden. And so. Finish Mayer's long ball. Samola won't be able to get to it. Sydney United will get the ball back. Just going to be warming up. A couple more substitutions. Paul D and his staff. And tell me now the chance. Safely plays it back to Meyer. Meyer's got Hatch on the left. He goes for him. Hatch has got pace to burn. Gets past Chalaki and with ease, Hatch into the middle. It's a good stop in the end there from Collins. And Sydney United 58 with just their second corner of the game. 14 minutes to go. What can they produce from this? They've got the aerial threats. You see three of them going into the box now. McGing, Tomalic and Vlastelitsa. Three of their tallest players and Antelmi's up there as well. On Devon Ishmeers. Goes in from Maya. It's almost found the back stick there, which last to was on Devonish Mears, but quick one out to Udashevsky. Good touch, but the Oliveira's on it straight away. And it's a pretty good ball in the end there because Nakamura's got a chance to get it back into the box. Gets past Pelicanos. Nakamura at the front stick. Collins is there again. Now a chance for Rockdale to break. Chalakian plays Sun Mola through. If he could take Vastelitsa, he's got a real chance. His son Mola, Vastelitsa slides, but the ball falls straight back to him. Udashevsky's at the back stick. Rashudo's there. Gets onto it. Wasn't the best pass, but he's recovered it for now. The Rockdale legend. Son Mola goes for it. That was never troubling Kalats, unfortunately, and the crowd lets him know about it. So Rockdale's things stand. Could be level. On points with Blacktown City, you've all but secured up three points to drop St. George back down to fifth. And RPL Leichhardt, if things stay as they are in Wollongong, will be down to sixth at the conclusion of match day nine. Another double substitution here for Rockdale. Brendan Chalakian has had his number called. So Kataoko will make his appearance off the bench alongside the former Manly United youth product in Hunter Elliott. So Chalakian. Good shift for Paul D today. It's another substitution. Carlos de Oliveira comes off and he's going to be replaced by number 21, Dea. Dayan Baker Danakowski. Apologies for the mispronunciation there. And Alessandro Lacalandra, who loves the late goal himself, he'll come onto the field as well. Pelicanos is the man that made way for Elliot as well. So Kataoko will apply the number eight role next to Danzo as Hunter Elliot. Bit of fresh legs out there on the right wing. Rashudo going into the 10. Lacalandra now. Ball in the middle. And tell me on his back pedal. Can't get to it. 
Hunter Elliott's touch isn't good enough, and Tomilich will play it out wide to Hatch. He's trying to reconfigure here. Tomilich with an early ball. Dero Billard deflected, goes into the way. And it's offside, unfortunately. Lacalandra's offside. So Lacalandra on the right of Antelmi now. Nakamura's going to be occupying the number 10 role. Dero Billard almost wins it back there. But Hatch is there. His head is a little bit too powerful, but Vlastilicha will recover now. Hatch. Showing his speed off. Try to get around Collins, but the veteran defender's there to stop it. Nakamura plays it to Rule. Scored a screamer already this season. Bailey Rule just wide. He's got license to shoot from there. He showed it a couple of weeks ago. Just wide that time, though. A chance for Rockdale to get out of their own area. Look at the amount of red jerseys in this section of the field, though. Kataoko. Nice little link-up play. He's lost it to Dero Billard, though. Working his hardest to get it back. Nakamura now. Great spin. Shunta Nakamura. Tomalich to Maya. Chance from long range. The crowd's calling for corner. Didn't look like it took a deflection though. Dayan Baka Danikoski. And tell me now, he's on it already. Sanmola. Gets it through the legs of Lacalandra. Long ball from Collins. Try to find Iliad out on the wide right side there. A little bit too much for the young winger. And the crowd are sensing something here. Just under seven minutes to go. This game has one more twist to it. You can feel it. I feel like one of these two sides are going to steal all three points. And atmosphere's building. The vibe's going up. Foul there. Rockdale will get the chance to go the other way. Oh, oh, Collins. Oh, Kalach has been urging his side for the last 20 minutes to get forward. Put pressure on the defensive line. And it's worked so far in the second half. Limited chances for Rockdale and Linden. Wudashevsky has seen little of the ball and that's exactly what they needed to do. Take away their number one threat. Rusciuto. Nice little one-two with Spiranza. Danzo has got plenty of room to move forward. Could have a shot if he wants. Finds Rusciuto instead. Elliot. Fakes the cross. To take it in, but... Went back out wide. Elliot. First time cross. Going to go out. And a bit of a relief there for Sydney United. Paul D doesn't look too happy with that. He's out of substitutes. He's got a lot of fresh legs out there. It's now or never for both sides, really. Joker Kalas still got a few to go. Two to go if he wishes to use them. With his young bench between Adam Service, Jordan Ivancic. Obviously, Baker Danikoski is already on the field with Alessandro Lacalandra. Lacalandra loves a late goal. He scored that one against the Central Coast Mariners here last year. Put his name on the map in this competition. Some chin pads fallen off in the middle of the park. They wonder if that's going to come into play. It's Pedanza. The chance to counter-attack here for Rockdale. Sanmola, long ball. 
Hunter Elliott just keeps it in. Great work from the youngster out on the right. Early border Sorgi. Just resetting as they tend to do. They have this game at least. Sorgi's got space, fakes the cross. Plays Elliott at the edge of the box. Almost loses it, but recovers well. Hunter Elliott. Sorgi's cross had Sun Moller at the back stick, but rules first to it. Nakamura flicking it on, but everyone's back for Sydney United. Four minutes to go. I don't want to lose this one. They've held on to a point for so long. Be heartbreaking to concede now, as would it be for Rockdale. Nakamura first time flick, and tell me just wasn't prepared for it. And now again behind the ball, Sydney United 58. It's been all Rockdale and Linden since the 80th minute. Udashevsky almost onto that, but Kalats. He's learned from that first half goal from Udashevsky. You know, you can't give him half an inch of space, and he's been on the ball. Oliver Kalach. Joko telling him to bring it. He's against the coach's wishes. Alandra and Spedanza both miss it. But Collins sends it forward. Rashudo's onto this if McGinn's not there. McGinn shielding him off the ball, but he's been brought down by Rashudo in the process. Much to the, the displeasure of the Rockdale Linden bench. Now Vlastelitsa. Tries to get it to Hatch on the left there, but Sorgi meets him there. What a final couple of minutes we're going to have here at Atenza Park. The sun's just opened up as well. The clouds are opening, sun's in the players' faces. Everything, everything that could spell the recipe for a late goal is just opening up now. And Tell me tries to turn Collins, but he shielded him off well. It's a ball that looked to go to Sun Mola, but it's only as far as Tomalik. As Baker Danikoski. Dira Billard very far back. We'll have to get forward soon. Rule. To Tomlich. Hatch has got plenty of space on the left if they can get it to him. Ops to go for Antelmi's touch is a little bit too heavy. And Danzo goes straight to find Udashevsky, but McGinn's there again and he sends it out. No risk with that play there, but they'll get a quick throw here, Rockdale. Udashevsky with a long throw, trying to find Rusciuto. It's going to go out for another corner. It was Baker Danikoski's header. Pretty imposing threat at the back there, but ninth corner for Paul D's side. Katooko. His first chance to show what he can do from the corner post. Katooko across the face. And it was almost there for Spidanza at the back stick. Just slid a little bit too early. That ball was coming in at some pace. Heads not dropping yet for both sides. Looks like there's going to be two minutes of added time, so three minutes to play here at the Sydney United Sports Centre. Kalach with a long ball. Kalandra first to it. Comes off the back of Spidanza, however. First time from Rule. How's that Kalandra's touch? Tries to play it over the top to win. Tell me. Cordier's first to it. Nakamura now over the top to Lacalandra. But Cordier stops it again. Quiet. Yet. He's had his plate full. Cordier. Lacalandra looks a little bit worse for wear after that one. Pulling up a bit ginger. Cramps possibly starting to play a factor. Rule. 
try to play it first time, but Rashudo's there. Stops it, and he wins a throw for Rockdale. It's the kind of veteran experience that just can't buy from certain players, and Rashudo definitely uses all of that experience. Calandra's header cleared away by Danzo, but straight back away from McGinn. Minutes ticking away now. Feels like it might end in a draw. Be a pretty fair result for both sides. Been a pretty even affair up until this point. 90 hard minutes of football. Tomalic disposes the ball of Sun Molder's reach. They're pushing numbers forward. Everyone's back for Sydney United 58. And tell me he's putting a shift in the midfield now. Spidanza gets past both these men on the left there. Spidanza across the face of goal. Rockdale have won it. With just 60 seconds of injury time remaining, Rockdale Ilinden have stolen three points at the Sydney United Sports Centre. The benches are cleared. They can't get enough of it. That was a sensational run. And surely, surely they've won it. Credit to Speranza on the left. Got past Rule and Lacalandra. Just caught napping for half a second. And they could lose three points as a result. Sydney United 58. Rujudo telling his attackers to get back. No point going forward. They've got their two goals. Looking to extend their winning streak over Sydney United 58. Rockdale Linda Nah. Haven't lost to them in the regular season since 2019. Five games without defeat. Lots of draws thrown in that mix though, however. Last 25 games between these sides. Both sides with nine wins, nine losses, and seven draws. So not much to split these two sides. But Rockdale could be hitting 10 soon. On clearance from Devonish Mears. Some mole has been pushed in the back by Rule. And that's just more crucial seconds off the clock. For Rockdale Willinden. San Mola. Danzo. Plays it to Udashevsky. Touches a little bit too wide, and that's all she wrote. Rockdale Willinden. Three points in the final minute of injury time. What a devastating blow that is for Sydney United 58. They deserve something from this game, but they're going to walk away with nothing. Such is football sometimes. What a thrilling game. Rockdale will extend their unbeaten run against Sydney United to six games now. And Sydney United are going to have to wait a couple months to get their revenge. What a great game here. At Adenza Park on this Sunday afternoon. Thank you for joining us on the Football New South Wales YouTube page. I'm Dominic Crenidi. Hope you enjoy the action. Stay tuned for Manly United vs. the league leading Western Sydney Wanderers in about five minutes' time. Stay tuned to our socials for the match report and the 3 2 1 points from this game. Enjoy your night.